Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Solid Fire, and I'm here with Scott. Scott, can you introduce yourself? Oh, hi, thanks, Amy. Uh, my name's Scott Hansen, uh, Cisco Server Geek on Twitter. Uh, I, I do Cisco Data Center stuff. Very cool. And my, my understanding is this is your first OpenStack. So tell us what your first impressions are. Oh, yes, this is my first OpenStack Summit. Uh, I've lived in Austin for 15 years and finally made it to, to one of these. Um, I can only compare it to my uh, experiences at VMworld. So it is uh, you know, similar in the, 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 the amount of people. I was very surprised that there were 7,500 people here. Um, you know, it's uh, it's interesting because I you know I come from a world of 20 years of enterprise experience, and there was some messaging yesterday in the keynote, uh, you know, from Gartner about the enterprise and and uh, how that how that's all going in the OpenStack community, and uh, you know I I think it's just a continuum of, of what we're seeing where interesting technologies are, are coming into play, uh, and then the enterprise methodologies sort of take over, and you see those same things right happening when, when uh, VMworld first started, virtualization first started, and it's just a common theme, and it's, it's nice to see, right, the, the uh, enterprise tech, you know, come into these, you know, what some people called science projects back in the past, but now they're really mainstream. So it's almost, you see this as a standard part of a life cycle, if you will, an evolution perhaps, but this is, uh, that, that people enter their enterprise phase, so to speak. Oh yeah, absolutely. The the people, process, and technology, right? That methodology has been around for you know decades, and uh, it's interesting to see you know some of the younger. I don't like to say the millennials because it's great to have um, you know people up and coming with new ideas and fresh ideas, and and we get all uh, you know that's how, how new technology breakthroughs happen. But the whole process and methodology behind how things work and, and what you have to do with the people um, is really important. And those methodologies have been around for a long time, so it's nice to see that stuff integrated right from from my aspect into all the new technologies. So you're saying that because you're a millennial, that's what drew you to OpenStack? <laughs> oh. Yes, uh, no. When, when I was a millennial, uh, what drew me into technology was all the cool stuff, and there's a lot of cool things that, that happen, right? The demos in the keynotes and, and uh, all the interesting things that happen, right? Uh, today uh, in the keynote, uh, TCP Cloud uh, put sensors all around, then they did a live demo. Not only did they do a live demo, they gave us access to the demo we could hit on our phone and see right where the CO2 levels were happening around, so you could sort of follow the herd, right? You see CO2 levels increasing, you know there's more people in that area. So it's it pretty interesting to see a live demo and then let them uh, you know, give you that demo. It's pretty cool. Very cool. So uh, we're here in Austin. Uh, you've got a lot of experience as a Texan. Um, Brisket or breakfast tacos? If you can only have one forever and ever, which would you pick? Uh, hello, Amy. I don't know. There are actually brisket breakfast tacos, right? That that has come together, right? That is a stack solution. So, <laughs> you believe in the fusion, then? I believe in the fusion. I believe in the fusion of barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Scott. All right, thank you, Amy. It was great. And we'll see you next time here on Pop Up Tech Talks.